Hey guys! <laughs> Today's video is going to be about my Japanese music recommendations. So if you've clicked on this video, you probably have the same music taste as me, I guess. I like indie, alternative, rock, pop music, I guess I would call it. So you've come to the right place if you're looking for some recommendations in those genres. Of course, there's going to be a few exceptions. I've got some psychedelic rock and also some hip hop, old school hip hop too. So watch until the end if you want to find out about them. Also, if you're a Japanese language learner, listening to music is one of the best ways to practice, honestly. It's a great way to learn how to express yourself more naturally, not like what's written down in a textbook. So the way this video is going to work is that I'll introduce the band or the artist, one of my favourite songs by them, and I will put the link to that song in the description box below. So my first band recommendation is called Lucky Tapes. So Lucky Tapes is a soul pop band which formed in 2014. Now they have a lot of uplifting songs that make you want to dance I guess but they also have um, some really chill like cafe vibe songs. One of my favorite songs of theirs has that kind of chill cafe vibe and it's called Cos which was released in 2018. Next! So my next recommended artist is called Syrup. The best way you could describe his music is like contemporary soul hip hop vibes. My recommended song by him is Slow Dance. It's a really dreamy song and overall like floaty cloud vibes. <laughs> floaty cloud vibes. Yeah, it, it's an awesome song. Next. Next is a female artist called She Is Summer. Alex D from Japan Jams described her style really well. He described it as electro pop reminiscent of the 80s and 90s. And I really think that's the perfect description. Really it is. I have two recommended songs from her. The first one is Travel for Life, and the second one is Highway Records. And they're both like really fun, poppy, shiny, sunny kind of songs. Next, the next band I'm gonna introduce are called Siamese Cats. Compared to the first bands, they're much more slow paced. So Siamese Cats are a Tokyo based indie, rock band, I guess you would call them. Alternative rock band. They formed in 2007, so they've been around for quite a while. And the song of theirs that I want to introduce is called Sentakumono wo Tori Komanakucha. I think that's how you pronounce it. This song has like super spring, spring? picnic vibes if that makes sense like you can just imagine yourself having a picnic in a park listening to this song with a warm breeze you know floating past and that's just huh next so the next band i want to introduce actually she it's not a band it's an artist her name is mei ehara i guess you would call her music indie pop indie folk my recommended song of hers is called Himakara Yoru and it's bouncy fun a little bit jazzy if you like her music I have three more female artists that do similar but different music to hers these artists are Yeye 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 
yeah 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 i don't know how to pronounce it anyway I'll, I'll write it um yeah yeah sakamoto shibata and mm, or mm, 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 or triple m you would definitely like their music if you like mei ihara's music next is a band called Chai. So they're an all female outfit. I guess you would call their music like experimental grungy rock pop. So the song of theirs I'm going to introduce to you guys is called I'm Me. Really cute, boppy, grungy, rocky song. All of their film clips are so cute too. So please check them out also. Next. So next is another rock band. They're called Near Cry Talkie. Since they formed in 2017, they've been really popular. On a few of their uploads on YouTube, they've gotten millions of views, like millions of views. And they deserve it because they're freaking, they're freaking awesome. They're really, really cool. The song I'm recommending to you, I'm gonna recommend two because they're just so cool. Hokujo no susume to kongaragata. Check them out. Next, this band is currently on a hiatus, which is so, so sad, but that doesn't mean you can't listen to their music. So this band is called Such Moss. I would describe their music as kind of, it's, so it's rock, but it's definitely like, a little bit jazzy and has elements of I guess 1970s soul music I would say. So the song from Such Mask that I want to recommend to you guys is called Mint um, but their song Stay Tune is probably their most popular. Check that song out as well it's really good. Next! The next band I want to introduce to you guys is called Yura Yura Teikoku. So they were a band that formed in 1989 from memory. They just make some really cool psychedelic rock music. So cool, makes you want to dance around. It's so good. I love psychedelic rock. So finding a Japanese band that did psychedelic rock awesomely was just pure bliss for me. So my recommend song from them is this one and it's just a great song. Awesome song. Check it out. Next. I'm so excited about this one. They're an old school hip hop group. They formed in 1988. If I were to compare them to someone, it would be kind of Beastie Boys-ish. So you can kind of understand what they would sound like. So this is the song I'm recommending. I can't emphasize this band enough. If you like this song, definitely listen to this whole album. It's really cool. Um, so, that's the end of my video um i hope you've discovered some new music and that you like my recommendations if you have any japanese music recommendations for me leave them down in the comments because i would love to listen to them and i would listen to them all so thank you for watching um if you like this kind of stuff um please follow and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.